Okay, I uh, I figured I'd do another uh, little me messing around on the server I have. Uh, this is actually a different server. This is Bucket, me and DOK Halo. Uh, he's not on right now. Uh, we wanted to make some shops and stuff, so we were looking around, and after installing one plugin, we installed about six more, and then five more, and then we got the citizens thing. And uh, I'm the residential figuring crap out. He's not too good at it. Uh, this is a citizens plugin. It's uh, actually pretty dang good if you know what you're doing. Uh, this guy's supposed to be a blacksmith. There's a trader. This guy's a guard. That guy spawned uh, whenever I created the world. So I assume he's a guard, but he's been down there for like five, ten minutes, not moving. So I have no idea what he does. Uh, there's also healers, and uh, if I mentioned, there's a trader. Um, I believe you can get quests and stuff too. But I figured I'd do a brief overcap on how to do uh, this guard. He's really good at sticking with you, unless you like uh, confuse him a little bit, like getting behind this and destroying this and jumping up here and switching to sand and placing more sand and he's like oh jesus christ oh no he found me oh good bravo bravada but i figured i'd overcap how to do a little bit of making these people and how to make a trader first so to actually make these people you have to type uh, npc create and their name of whatever you want to have them um, um squid trader yeah and uh, he'll spawn inside of you, and that's his name. I don't know why Trader didn't come, but whatever. And now you right-click to select them. I already have them selected because I just created them. And if you want to make him a Trader, you have to type uh, a toggle, Trader. And he'll become a Trader. Uh, that works for, like, Blacksmith, Healer, so and such. Uh, uh, you, it says paid $250 to uh, create this guy and $100 just to um, to make him. Before it wanted yellow flowers, so before you do any of this, you have to go into your uh, your config file of uh, your plugin that you installed. I'm assuming you know how to do that. Open it with Notepad, then uh, change the economy from false to true, so it'll start using like an economy iEconomy plugin like I have in. So it'll actually start taking currency instead of like yellow flowers and stuff. Um, now what you want to do is you want to set him what to buy and sell. And I swear to God, if I forgot this again, because I literally just did it again, not two seconds ago. Um, buy dirt one. Oh, come on. Are you serious? There's no way I could forget how to do that. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, I got it. Trader buy dirt. And he'll buy the dirt for whatever price you set him to buy. So, like, uh, two. Now he's buying dirt for two dollars. So, it's kind of neat. Trader sell. Sand. We'll not. We'll have them sell sand. For what? Two. Yeah. One sand for two dollars. Um. I wonder if you can do trader. Um. Sell stone. Uh. Sell sixty-four stone. I wonder if that's how it works. Two. Oh well, no. Trader. Sell. Stone. 64.2? No. I'll have to tell you guys how to make them sell more than one at a time uh, soon enough, but I don't really know as of right now. I'll do an advanced tutorial. This will just be basic. And then uh, you have to stock them with stuff like uh, this. And My inventory is clearly modded because I have these kind of blocks, and I'll just get one dirt and give it to him. And now, now he's stocked. Uh, get away from me, guard. And it's going to turn night, but I'll keep filming. It won't It won't pressure anything. And now if you really want him to be um, a good trader, uh, you set unlimited. If I can remember how to spell unlimited, I believe. Uh, this is why I should just keep a dictionary uh, right next to me. <sighs> set unlimited. There we go. Damn it. Oh, come on. This is horrible. I didn't even know how I can't spell unlimited. Oh, no, no, no. It's not my spelling. Um, <laughs> uh, trader set unlimited true. Oh, come on. Did I really spell it wrong now? Nah, no, I left out trader. Oh, come the fuck on! Mm, 
maybe I don't have to have the set. That's probably it. Yeah. Okay, dear Jesus Christ, come on. Ah. <sighs> I assume this is why you guys watch these videos, so you can watch me get all pissed off at stuff I forget in two minutes. And now, um, check my money balance through Economy. You don't even need to know how to have a ton of money. So, uh, you... Oh, that's right. It's still my shop. So, I'd have to... Still having them selected, uh, set, owner, and I have another Economy account named Seller. Uh, that's my set. Uh, maybe it's owner, seller. Oh my god, I just literally did this not three seconds ago. Uh, what is it? Uh, NPC, set, owner, seller? Yeah, there we go. Now you can buy off of them, uh, like sand, and it'll tell you whenever you right click it, it popped up in the left corner there. Item one sands two dollars, and then you right click it again to buy. And after that, it won't tell you the price, and you can just buy a whole bunch of it. But it'll switch whenever you uh, click that. Oh, dirt isn't being bought here. Yeah, I'd have to sell it. But it asks you before you sell it. Um, and that's really the basic stuff to do with the trader. Uh, as far as like moving them and stuff, you just kind of stand where you want to do it and be like NPC move, and he'll teleport to you. Kinda. He'll like run really fast. Mm, the next thing I think I'll cover is uh, blacksmith. As soon as I figure out how to make him uh, not just repair armor on the amount of durability it's been damaged. Because you can kind of just get up here, jump, ow, oh, and now my armor is damaged, my iron. And then I don my leather tunic and get over here and uh, jump and ow. Oh. And I you equip both of these in your inventory slot here and I'll have them fix the iron first for like oh yeah fix it for like 1.05 dollars then he fixes the leather for 4.26 and I'm not sure if you guys think leather is better than iron it's not so I'm kinda I have to figure out how to make him make him uh, have his values weighted so I'm assuming that'll have to be like a cam studio kind of video maybe I don't know but uh, thank you guys for watching. I'm sorry about all my confusion and uh, so and such, but I kind of assume that's why you watch this stuff, so you can watch me struggle. There'd be really no other point in watching my videos. Uh, thank you. Comment, rate, subscribe. Have a nice day.